Hi, this is Joe from joesinternetmarketing.com and we're back again as we build our website. We just created our add-on domain. Our new domain is uh, domain name is beginnerbassplayer.com. We've added it to our HostGator control panel and now what we're going to do is we're going to go and install WordPress. Now when you have HostGator or any of the, the bigger uh, web hosting providers they make it really easy to install things like WordPress. I recommend WordPress. I love WordPress. I think it's just um, so easy for website owners and developers and bloggers to create a website very quickly and um, allow you to uh, manage the content um, easily day to day. Um, and so here at the HostGator control panel what we want to look for is there's a program and it's usually way down here at the bottom under software and services we're looking for Fantastico Deluxe Fantastico Deluxe is a great application that gets installed with um, with cPanel and you can install a number of scripts with Fantastico um, you can install WordPress you can install PHP Nuke or Drupal Joomla these are some very common um, CMS's or content management systems. WordPress typically uh, typically in the past hasn't been called a content management system. It's just been a, a blogging platform. Um, but as it's been growing and they've been developing on it, the guys down at Automatic have been really doing a great job of building WordPress into, I don't know, in my mind, I, I consider it a great content management system, uh, even though some people may argue with me. So. Um, when you're looking at your Fantastico, you'll you'll notice that some of the other uh, domains that you own that will be listed here. I have one other domain name that is that I own that is listed on this uh, HostGator account as NamecheapCouponCodes.net. <clears throat> uh, so if you need any, uh, if you use Namecheap for uh, as a registrar for buying in uh, any of your domain names, and you need the coupon codes, I try to keep this updated every month. So check it out. But anyway, enough for that little uh, self-promotion. Uh, what you want to do here for our current domain is we're going to click on WordPress. And then you see here I have all my other domain names listed. I'm going to do a new installation. And I'm going to look for beginnerbaseplayer.com. Now you notice there's two settings here. There, there's, there's two listings. There's beginnerbaseplayer.com jlw.co and jlw.co is my my root domain name um, everything else is what they call virtually hosted off of that root domain name so when you create your hostgator account you will have created it using a a domain name one domain um, whether you know the, uh, your starter domain so to speak every other domain name that you add onto that when you do your add-on domain will always have this this um, will always be considered a subdomain to your primary domain but what they do is then there's some little there, there's some little scripting logic that they do that um, that allows us to actually have the the main domain beginnerbaseplayer.com uh, be answered by your server um, uh, <laughs> it's kind of complicated but anyway so what you want to basically choose out of the two of these is you want to choose your your domain name that you just added which is big from this case is beginnerbaseplayer.com so we choose that the installation directory well I want it to be in the root I want WordPress to be when you go to beginnerbaseplayer.com uh, it's going to be right there at the root my administrator username just I'm gonna say admin now I would not create admin as your administrator username I would make it something else but for this I'm just gonna call it admin I'm gonna go back in later and I'm gonna change it my password um, not gonna use that one I'll use uh, password um, my account nickname um, I'm gonna be uh, the baseman um, I just like to make it something specific to my my uh, my domain name that I'm creating um, my my email address I'm gonna make it the email address that I use all the time my main email address and then my site name well I've actually I'm looking to target this particular keyword phrase beginner bass player so I'm gonna call it beginner bass player and um, 
uh, description. I'm going to be um, your uh, resource for um, bass guitar. Um, your resource for bass guitars. That's that's good. Okay, and I'm going to say install. And then here it was very quick. Um, it created a, a my database. And what you can do here is you can actually um, when you finish the installation. Oop! Hold on a second. What happened? Ah! Ah! So we're going to click finish installation. And it'll be done. And what it'll do is you can actually have it email you the uh, uh, the output of what happened. Uh, you don't really need to. And then here we have beginnerbassplayer.com slash WP admin. And then we're done, really. Um, and really what happens, what we can do is we can either go to the website or you can click on this link and it'll take you right to the uh, admin portion of the site. So let's do that just to make sure everything's working. And boom, look at that. It is. And what did we make this? We made this admin and we put our password in. And there we are. Look at that. We're we're in the uh just the basic default configuration for WordPress. If you click on this, it'll take you to the front and there's the the default theme for uh WordPress. So that's it. So now we've got WordPress working. So um I hope you've found this informative. Uh, in our next in our next video, I'm going to install a theme and let's do a little bit of tweaks to our WordPress installation. Thanks a lot, and this is Joe from Joe's Internet Marketing.com. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.